Hey y'all, we back with another reaction. Um, and this reaction right here is on um, Kenny and Jason. They're best friends, y'all. They own their own little business, they business partner. And guess what? These two good looking men is missing, okay? They business partner in Fulton County, and they are missing, y'all. What in the world is going on in Georgia? What's going on in the whole country, y'all? They are searching for them, but I'm going to play. This is for news, uh, uh, for news reporting, uh, in criticism purposes. Okay, hold on. Good friends and business partners who were last seen on Saturday. No to knew them. They're putting together a desperate search. Atlanta News First reporter Rachel Aragon is live on Hamilton Road in East Point with these bizarre details. Rachel? Yeah. It's really strange. We know, according to family members, they tell me earlier that one of the man's cars was found not too far from where I'm standing right here off of Hamilton Road in East Point. Family members say the other man's car was found at a different location with no no word from either father or business partner. And now those two families coming together to ask community to help find them. In East Point, a growing mystery. Everybody that knows Kenny and Jason, they love them. What started as a normal Saturday night, Kenny and Jason are very obsessed with me. Now leading to frustration and confusion as two families come together to help bring two of their loved ones home. This is a tragedy for our family. We want us. Jason Seltzer and his good friend and business partner, Kenny Vera, have been missing since Saturday. I want to, um, mm, they didn't just come missing. Somebody knew about this and uh, they could have got robbed or somebody who comes in the shop. Beyonce says the last she heard from Kenny was that he was meeting up with Jason that day. It's not like him to not call me. It's not like him to not reach out to me. The two men, both fathers, in a print shop off of Old National Highway and are known for giving back to the community. Everybody that knows Kenny and Jason, they love them. They, they're good people at heart. They just have heart of gold and it's just, you know, it's crazy. So it's like, we just ask the people if they know something, say something because we want them home. According to the police report, Jason's brother told investigators Jason had planned to meet with Kenny in East Point. Both families have not heard from their loved ones but they're not giving up hope. Anybody feel like coming out to help us say, come on. I mean, we need all we can do. We all need our children. Yeah, we got to stay on this one, okay? We will be staying on this. This is Jason Salter and Kenny Garab. We're going to, uh, this is Jason right here. We're going to, we're going to, and that's Kenny, Kenny uh, and we're going to stay on this case right here, right here in Fulton County. We're in Fulton County right now. They're a business partner, and here's their shot right here. If you know anything, uh, heard anything, and you want to talk about it, you can. You're welcome to talk about it, and we'll get, you know, just say something. Say something, because they didn't just disappear, okay? You want to turn yourself in, you want to be anonymous, and you know who did it, you know, contact uh, Fulton County uh, Police Department. And we got to get these men home. We got to get them home, y'all. Camerton Road. Y'all know exactly where Camerton Road at. Y'all know. As a normal Saturday night, Kenny and Jason are very obsessed with me. Now leading to frustration and confusion as two families come together to help bring two of their loved ones home. This is a tragedy for our family. And see, when, it, when it's somebody... <sighs> fathers and kind hearted doing things for their community we y'all need to leave them alone please leave them alone these are the people who are trying to help their community okay and doing things for people in the community that don't nobody else do for them so please get these fathers home please don't harm them if y'all want their money take their money but let their family have them back that's not fair Jason that day. It's not like him to not call me. It's not like him to not reach out to me. 
the two men, both fathers, run a print shop off of Old National Highway. And they fathers, y'all. Please get them back to their family. Don't kill them. Stop killing them. You know, let them go. If they ain't got no money, they ain't got no money, y'all. They don't make that much money doing them t-shirts. You know, let them let them go. Don't kill them because they found one car in one place and other in one. Oh, don't kill them, y'all. Let them go. They got kids. It's not worth it. You know, you got your family and let them have their people back. According to the police report, Jason's brother told investigators Jason had planned to meet with Kenny in East Point. Both families have not heard from their loved ones, but they're not giving up hope. Anybody feel like coming out to help us save? Like, oh, I mean, we need all we can. We need all we can to help us. That's sad. And we've been told that East Point believes it's taking the lead on this investigation, and we've heard from the family. Of course, anyone has any information about those two. They need to, what they need to do is go back and check that camera. And I know they got a camera in there, especially in that print shop like that. I know it's a camera in there. And they need to uh, pull it up and, and get them guys home. Y'all, if you listen to this, please don't hurt them. Just let them go so their family can have them back, okay? They're not worrying about the money, okay? Please get them back. Don't hurt them. All right? This is your girl, The Real Deal, Lanita Gill. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.